Hi guys, Shaz here. So I'm going to give you some quick pointers on how to be miserable for the rest of your life. To start with, wake up whenever you want. Wake up at 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 noon. Don't wake up early and get a head start on life. Let everybody else pass you by. And once you've woken up, get your phone out and stay in bed for two hours, just scrolling mindlessly and seeing what other people are doing and seeing all the happy points of their life. Because you know what? On social media, nobody puts, oh, I had a pants day today because this happened or that happened. They only put the ones where they're looking great and you know where great things are happening and they're at the restaurant eating food every day, all day and things like that. Next, when you do get out of bed and you feel like, oh my God, everybody else has had a head start and they've started all their things and now you're feeling miserable, don't have a shower and don't wear clean clothes and don't iron your clothes. Don't even make your bed. What you want to do is pick your dirty clothes up off the floor that you've been wearing for the last seven days and just stick them on and you can feel how they are crusty and smelly and that'll get you a long way to having a miserable day. Next, make sure your house is a total and utter mess. Leave everything on the floor, leave loads of rubbish in the cupboards, don't organize anything. You want it as messy and cluttered as possible so you can't find anything, do anything, or find a purpose for any of the rooms. So you're not using the sitting room for sitting and you're not using the bedroom for going to sleep. Basically, it's all jumbled up and you've got your computer on the sofa, which means you're getting the least amount of work done. That's a really good tip if you want to be absolutely miserable. And when your house is an absolute pigsty, it will reinforce in your mind that you're useless, worthless, you don't get anything done and your life is absolute pants. That will make you extra, extra miserable. And now you're definitely on your winner if you want to be miserable all your life. Next, when you think about doing something productive in the day, don't do procrastinate. Get your phone out, start scrolling again, and think, you know what? The shaz of tomorrow will clean up this mess. He'll do the kitchen, he'll do his bed, he'll wash his clothes, and he will you know, do anything else that is productive tomorrow. Just leave it to your future self to take all the headache and all the hard work. You don't do anything. Just sit there, be miserable and think, oh my God, you know what? Today is horrible and I've had a miserable day. God forbid you feel like doing any work after getting up late, procrastinating and lounging around looking at social media, etc. Open your PC up, open some work up so your body feels like you're about to do some work and then open five more tabs and get Facebook, YouTube, Insta, TikTok, all of those open. And don't look at any productive videos like this one, but look at cats hitting people while they come through doors, look at cats jumping in bins, and checking what, you know, Sandra, Lisa, Liam, Davey, or Andrew has had for breakfast, and see what they're doing that's really great in their life. Because the best way to trick your body into thinking you're doing something really productive and you're getting on with life is to open a tab that looks like you're doing work and then just sit at your computer doing browsing, looking at social media and liking and disliking people's useless stuff. Because as long as you're sitting at your desk, you'll be tricking your mind into thinking, oh yeah, I'm doing some great work here. And then guess what? Your day will go along and you'll feel a bit better and you know, Obviously you won't be better, you'll be worse off tomorrow because if you've got a job and you were supposed to get this done, guess what? You're gonna hand in something that's pants. And if you're in education and you were supposed to get this done today, tomorrow you're handing in something pants. So guess what? Today will have a knock on effect for the rest of your life, making sure that you have a miserable life for the future. Next, don't go looking for opportunities. Sit on your couch, sit at home and hope that opportunities come to you. So. Don't go out there and get fit. Don't go out there and make friends with people who are doing things that you might want to do as a career. Don't go out there and apply for jobs. Don't go out there and do anything that would get you ahead in life. Sit at home thinking, guess what? If I sit here all day long, somebody's gonna knock on the door and say, hi Shaz, do you want a million dollars? Hi Shaz, do you want this great job? Hi Shaz, do you want this great car? Hi Shaz, do you want all of this for your family and extended family? Guess what? it's not gonna happen. Next, get used to saying no. So, if one of your colleagues at work, or your boss, or somebody around you says, Oi, do you want to lead this meeting? Do you want to take charge of this? Say, no, I don't wanna do that. And then, if one of your friends rings and says, Hey Shaz, do you wanna to go to the gym? 
say no. Another friend rings and says, you know what, shall we go to the restaurant, socialize, and I'll tell you about a new opportunity that's coming along for me, and maybe you can get in on it. Say, oh no, I don't need that opportunity. Next, think that everybody is out to get you, and they hate you. So if a friend comes along and says, oh, I would like to take you out for dinner, say, oh no, I wonder what he wants. Then if a family member comes along and gives you a present, say, oh no, I wonder what they want. And don't look for opportunities, just Stay in your own little circle and think, you know what, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. That's surefire way to be miserable for the rest of your life. Next, never do anything that would improve you. Never try and fix something that is broken. So once again, never try to get fit. Never try to improve your mind by reading books. Never try and improve your social circle by finding new friends that are good for you. Never let your social circle help you. Just tell yourself you're going to stay at home and you're going to stay alone and you know that miserable life that you've got, you're enjoying that and you're going to enjoy that cluttered house and you're going to enjoy that these dirty clothes and you're going to enjoy all that misery. Do not give anybody an opportunity to help you or do anything for you or give yourself an opportunity to level up. Have a close mindset. Never have an open mindset. Think that, you know what, or if I'm not good at maths, I can never get good at maths or if I'm not good at driving I can never learn to drive yeah so don't do anything that would make you better don't think that anything that can make you better exists or that you can do anything in your life to improve yourself just think oh no this is what I'm born with this is the misery I have to live with and this is as far as I can carry my talents and this is as good as I can get and you know what I'm just going to be miserable next focus on things you can't control like sitting in traffic or the government or saying oh no the weather's crap today and you know what really mourn about that really let it get into your mind and constantly sit there oh no you know what the traffic's really bad today so you can't control them right so you're gonna just procrastinate by talking about them you can't control the weather so you're gonna sit there and say oh the, the weather it's raining today i'm not doing any work because it's raining how stupid does that sound but if you want to have a miserable life that's how you need to think next only do what you're comfortable with. Do not come out of your comfort zone. Do not grow. Do not do anything that will make you better. Sit there, playing games all day, watching TV, because that's easy. Don't ever think about getting a book and reading it, learning something new, getting up and speaking to people, uh, or teaching somebody else something where you grow, or doing anything that would make you feel uncomfortable. Because guess what? That'll make you grow and you won't be miserable. So if you want to be miserable, do not do anything that makes you uncomfortable. Stay within your comfort zone. Next, behave like an entitled person. Think that everything should come to you, happen for you, and that you don't have to go out and make any effort and put in any effort to get anything or achieve anything. Just think, all right, I deserve this, I deserve that, I deserve this out of life, and just sit there doing nothing. So to stay miserable, think it's all great. I don't have to level up. I don't have to do anything. And guess what? Watching TV all day and scrolling mindlessly on social media all day is the norm. This is what you should be doing. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't die average. And please like and subscribe. Go on, smash that like button. You know what? I'll donate some money to charity. Smash, 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 smash that like button and definitely subscribe. See you next time. Bye.